Hey, how you guys doing? Um, some exciting news. Apple has just released their um, High Sierra Mac OS uh, version 10.13. It's going to bring a lot of great stuff uh, to uh, the desktop. And uh, we're going to, some of this we talked about before, but we're going to go more into it because I found out uh, additional information. Uh, of course, one of the biggest changes to uh, High Sierra is going to be their new file system which is really due for an update, which is uh, APFS, uh, which is going to be a faster file system, 64-bit. And of course, the older version was the uh, plus HFS, um, which is going to replace. Uh, of course, with any upgrade, you might want to wait, especially with this new file system. Uh, could possibly, uh, you know, have a lot of problems, so back up first uh, or put it on another uh, test computer or put it in another uh, partition and so on. I'm planning on waiting because I got a lot of third party applications I'm waiting for support for before I upgrade. Um, also new is the uh, HEVC High Efficiency Video Codec uh, or H.265. Uh, it's going to uh, give you 40% more compression with the same or greater um, I'm trying to think quality. I was trying to think of that uh, keyword. Most interesting is going to be actually metal too. Uh, it's going to be prove. Uh, it's going to prove to get uh, ten times faster speed than metal one, which in cell, which is in itself, the metal one actually is supposed to be ten times faster as well. Um, of course, metal it gives you direct access to the GPU, bypassing the CPU. Uh, which is a slower bottleneck. Well, now currently it seems like DaVinci Resolve 14 uh, does have support for the new API, from what I understand. Um, it's also going to bring in a lot of other support for, uh, for instance, uh, VR, virtual reality, um, which is also going to be supported in the uh, probably newer Final Cut Pro X which is uh, probably going to come out with the uh, Sierra update. Um, of course, um, with High Sierra, it's going to support HTC Vive VR headsets in uh, Final Cut Pro 10, uh, Steam VR, Epic Unreal uh, 4 Editor, and Unity Editor. So that's going to bring a lot of new support for other things. And oh, I forgot to mention on Metal 2 um, is also going to bring support for external eGPUs as well. So expect to see uh, that be added in. Um, I have been getting reports now, perhaps this is when it was in beta or Golden Master or whatever, you, uh, Master Gold or whatever you call it. Um, supposedly it's going to be showing faster speeds in Final Cut Pro 10, which should be expected because it's also going to. Uh, have metal too. Now, one thing I am worried about, I do have an older Mac Pro as well as a newer one, uh, which is fully supported, the newer one. Um, with my uh, 2009 8 core 4.1 Mac Pro, I did upgrade it using the Net, uh, Netkiss firmware that upgrades it essentially to a Mac Pro 5.1. 5 .1. But to be able to use a new um, file system APFS, you're going to have to do a firmware upgrade to it or update, which I'm afraid, uh, I'm not sure, it may affect the uh, modified um, firmware. Uh, supposedly uh, it's going to be supported, but without affecting the, um, like I said, the modified Netkiss firmware update, but uh, Check uh, with Mac Rumors. Um, that's usually the best place to go on modified Mac Pros, uh, such as the one I'm using. So um, I'll try to keep you updated on that. So a lot of new developments, and that's what I love about new operating systems, firmware upgrades, and stuff like that. It takes existing equipment and does improvements, speed improvements, enhancements, security, more stability. Um, so great news and uh, Tim your thoughts on that as well and uh, see you guys later